What up, YouTube? It's your boy Denali, aka Don Squally, back at you with another Forza 6 video. We got another request from Mr. Evo Evolution. Wants to see a Range Rover build. Now, I have been getting a ton of requests to do more truck builds on the channel. So, without further ado, I give to you the supercharged Range Rover. First and foremost, obviously, we're going to have to find this thing. And there it is, the 2014 Range Rover supercharged. Thing is absolutely sick. And the 97 Defender looking like something from the 40s there but that's just you know the way that they're built classic and strong but for this one it's gonna be the 2014 range man so if you guys are new to the channel i just want to say thank y'all for watching if you guys are you know repeat offenders you guys already know what's up we're gonna have to select a color for this thing now because this is a very classy vehicle i want to keep it a classy color oh that sky blue is looking super sexy let's go ahead and add that add that paint job up that is looking so dope i'm loving that paint just the way that the sun is shining off it uh let's see if we can make it work on this range this is Rover, your man. 2014 you land rover oh i'm range feeling rover like diddy right now damn rolling up in that range so without further ado let's jump up into the upgrade shop and start obviously from the conversions and work our way back because we got to get the conversions out of the way before we can make them upgrade so let's go ahead check it out we got that six liter v12 ha huh, what is that from i don't even know what that would be from but we're gonna leave the stock powertrain because obviously it is supercharged we can really work with that rear wheel drive i'm thinking we are gonna go ahead and leave this all-wheel drive just to make it the whole thing functional let's go ahead and do that check out our options for front bumpers uh, not gonna work for me obviously the Range Rover oh damn what are you guys doing you're breaking my heart with these spoilers right now um, none of that's gonna work because this is obviously a range and we want to keep this thing as truck like as possible um, now I believe in real life these trucks have adjustable airbags so I'm not sure if Forza would have tuned into that and let us adjust the uh, suspension right off the hop we're going to find out, actually. Um, let's jump up in here. Tune this up and see if that is a possibility. Because, like I say, in real life, adjustable airbags, um, did they catch on? No, they did not. So we are going to have to upgrade the suspension, it looks like, before we can touch the, um, touch the ride height. Now, as far as wheels go, you know... For, uh, since I noticed already we cannot upgrade the actual diameter of the rim, um, we're going to have to pick something that is just a subtle, you know, none of this big chrome, because that's what I would have done, but you'd have to put like 24s for it to actually look half decent. Um, so what I am going to do is try to find something. Those are actually not too, too bad for a pickup truck or for a SUV, I should say. Slap my damn self for that one. Let's see here. Now, I always say it. I say it before and I've said it again. Those don't look too shabby. Um, wheel. Oh, man. You guys are killing me with these wheels. Um, wheels are always going to take the longest on my builds just because I have such a hard time deciding. Those don't actually look too bad. If we got this thing slammed down to the ground, wouldn't look half bad. Those very um, original Range Rover-ish. And I'm thinking that's a fair that's a fair wheel to say. You know, a little bit sporty. Still has a nice size diameter. Big spokes. I'm liking that. We are going to go ahead and set it at that because I'll be here all day if I don't. So let's go ahead proceed with the race clutch you guys already know how we do and obviously got to put in that sports transmission and the differential go ahead and do that now i believe our supercharged srt jeep that we built uh should have been up 
uh, yesterday uh, from when this video is being recorded and uh, or released I should say and that ran I believe an 11.4 on the quarter mile so we're gonna see if we can get this thing oh there there's where it all comes together ladies and gentlemen we're gonna see if we can get this thing a little bit faster but I'm not gonna go nuts I'm probably gonna do around the same upgrades that I did to the uh, the SRT Jeep now I'm not sure how much that cost me when I bought it uh, it didn't really look to be honest but um i'm going to go ahead and assume that it was around 60 70 grand which this one i believe is 80 so let's go ahead intake exhaust and i believe we did a supercharger upgrade and maxed it out to the top of uh, a class so we're gonna go and do all of that stuff see if we can kind of match it up here Obviously, we did the aftermarket supercharger on the SRT because it does not come um, stock with the supercharger. Let's see what we got here. 650. Go ahead and throw that on here. Looks like we're going to have to do a little bit more work um, to this one in order to get it there. So I'm thinking cams definitely going to help things out in this case. Look at that. That that peak rpm range right there just steady to the top that's what i like about it most when you with most cars you put on the cam and it gives you a, a farther red line but you're, you're losing power and then you're you're down into a power loss zone whereas this just power the whole way to red line that is going to be sick and what do you guys say upgrade those pistons and we're sitting about 698 which is exactly where our srt jeep is so let's go ahead, tune this thing up, and then uh, get her out on the drag strip and take for a little bit of a test drive. So obviously, we got to look at our, oh, 3.2. I believe our, our Jeep was a 3.3 seconds, so that's going to be great off the hop. We're going to leave the camber the way that it is, stiffen up our springs, and lower this car to the ground. Like, I mean, slam it. I want to see this thing dragging ass all over the place. Let's go ahead and do that right now. And everything else, for the time being, I am going to leave the way that it is. Uh, so let's back it up, back it up, back it up, and paint the car. Oh, paint man, that thing looks so good, Slam. Like, just look at that. That is That is absolutely sick. Love the paint job. Gonna leave the wheel color like that because I just, I like that. I like that set of wheels. It's really, they're really growing on me and uh, just lowered. It looks just like a clean build, just a clean build, you know, and that's, that's what we're doing here, ladies and gentlemen. We're not trying to get too carried away. I just want to see a clean build. So let's back it on up, as I like to say, and you guys are, some people have already said that I say that way too much, but we're backing it on up, man, because that's what, really what the hell we're doing. Uh, so let's go to the test track and go straight up to the quarter mile, see if we can beat that 11.4, which I'm having a feeling we should be able to, 0 to 60 in 3.2 uh, seconds. Hooks up right away. Boom, 11 1. 11 1. So the range already kills the Jeep in acceleration. Goddamn monster, 11 1. Holy shit, man. This thing's competing with a lot of the cars that I own because the other day I just went through my whole garage and I just kept running it at that strip. See what everyone ran. And uh, surprisingly, a lot of cars in in between like 12.5 and the 10.5 section, like pretty much every car that I ran um, from like A classes all the way up to I think like S1 or something like that. It's very, very small range of, uh, you know, a uh, very small range of difference between all the cars even a lot of the Honda's s2000s I was running 370s um, 350s I believe I ran uh, you know they're just they're all pretty much running within that window so that is like kind of where to aim for 12 5 10 5 
I mean, really, in drag racing, it's not a very small window. There's a big difference. However, uh, in this game, it felt like they were all pretty much equally as quick. Let's take a look inside this interior. Very basic. Doesn't look too, too crazy with the buttons. I see a touch screen there. I guess there's a few buttons on the wheel there, but, you know, very, uh, very simple. I kind of like it. Let's jump up outside here, do a little launch. See those front wheels spinning way sooner than the back. Good sign of a healthy all-wheel drive system. Now I'm going to be comparing this to the Jeep, which is uh, was yesterday's build, only because that's the only, like, you know, I just built the, that one before I built this vehicle um, on the same day. This one, see how it breaks. Again, into the tire wall, <laughs> like I did with the Jeep. So these, as soon as, you know, the braking is definitely an obvious uh, downfall to these gigantic vehicles. Like, for sure, for sure. Gotta break way sooner than you would in a little sports car. But if you tap that e-brake, get the back wheels out a little bit. Oh, into the tires again. Thank God for those tires, eh? Not even touching the paint job. Um, yeah, if I like... I don't know. The thing is a boat. That's all I can really say. Could use some weight reduction. I mean, obviously, it's a giant SUV. I can't really expect it to be super nimble around the corners. But, I mean, it, it, it's a heavy-ass boat. Like, the thing just slides. Let's see if we can get some, uh, some donuts happening here. There we go. It looks the part. It definitely looks the part. Definitely kicks some ass in a straight line. Like, this is a definite dragster. I was actually thinking of uh, doing some drag racing in, uh, in Forza 6. If you guys would be interested in that, I, I would be... Basically, how I would do it is run it in, uh, you know, first we do like an A-class event, B-class, C-class, then get into S1, S2, uh, R, X-class, you know, so if you guys would be interested in that, let me know. I'd record the whole thing, put it up on YouTube, um, you know, I right now the only thing, I'd be doing it as like a private host, because right now the only thing that you can do is unlimited drag, but I mean, you know. If I want to drag race this thing against some other car, unlimited, you know, I'm never going to see another car that's in this class, in the A class, and doing unlimited drag online. So let me know if you guys would be interested in that. We can make that happen. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking we're going to put an end to this, uh, this test drive because I'm just actually having a little bit too much fun and not really even uh, paying attention to what like you know the vehicle or even saying anything about it but it is a solid ride um i think with a couple more laps i could definitely get the hang of it but as for now i'm thinking we are going to put an end to this video this thing is just slammed to the ground we are going to get our screenshot real dirty and rugged down here just like that so if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to smash the like button click subscribe if you're not already subscribed check out the channel if you want to see more videos because we got all kinds of videos like this um so with that being said i just want to say thank y'all for watching it's your boy don squally and uh we're gonna catch y'all mofos at the next one, man. Peace.